Ooh. Before we uh, start this video, I just want to make sure you know that leaving a like on the video does help me a lot. So if you want to just click in the you know, little thumbs up, that would be appreciated. Have fun. What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is always is Face Jasper and uh, right now, repping the face really hard since we are playing the CSGO Finals in Katowice in Poland right now. Or a little bit later, probably when this video goes up, the Finals is going on, so make sure to go check it out. But today we got a um, Q&A on the planning uh, since uh, I wanted to do a Q&A, it's been a while, I got an idea, I wanted to do the Q&A, so let's do it. I asked you guys on Twitter and on Snapchat as always, if you don't follow me, go check it here. Uh, you can follow me on Snapchat and Twitter, Jasper Snaps or Jasper Fitness, JZPR, that is. Um, also, what do you guys think of my beard? It's kind of growing a lot. Um, so let's do the Twitter ones first. We're gonna take our time today. Um, so this might be a little bit of a longer video. So sit back, relax. Let me actually put myself a little, a little bit higher. Like this. That's better. Hi. Have you ever looked in a mirror and winked at yourself? I once looked in the camera and winked. My, I hit myself. Um, my winking is not that smooth. If you had the only unicorn in the world, what would you name it? Hercules. Something mystical like that. How often do you face up? On a daily basis. I even face up when I dab, like this. Yeah. Those were already Twitter questions. I got a lot of questions from the same person. So, thank you for asking all the questions. But now the fun part, the real fun part, the Snapchat questions. Those are always a lot of fun. I'm really scared uh, for myself and for you guys as well. Favorite superset for biceps and forearms? Hmm, I think I've never superset a bicep and forearms, but if I would do it, it would probably look like a uh, bicep curl with cables and then reverse curls for forearms or um, easy bar curls and then easy, uh, forearm curls or hammer curls and then like these little shrugs behind your back, like you twist it like this. This could always be a good one. Um, next one. How many days are cheat days? Um, I don't do like full cheat days, I have like cheat moments. I think it's bal it's balanced. What made you want to go to the gym so much? Uh, the fact that I was really skinny and I was really feral and um, thin. Uh, and also to uh, get a new challenge after I stopped playing football um, for a while, I kind of needed something new. So, Do you fuck with Rain's Gucci hat? Of course. How often do you train abs a week? Um, lately I did for a while, as you guys know, that I did abs every single day. Uh, I kind of stopped after like two, three months, I think I did it. Um, but I do it not like three times a week, I try to do it. Uh, so each, uh, you know, um, every other day I try to hit abs. Um, I either do weighted stuff or just like a lot of volume with uh, body weight stuff. Um, but it's kind of, you know, the thing is with abs, it, you, you only have so many things you like with abs, so it kind of gets repetitive but it's always a lot of fun to add some weight to that or to do some different supersets or tri-sets and then uh, go of that. Just really burn it. I think that the main thing with abs is that you really want to feel it burn and then you don't need any crazy volume anyways because especially when you're in a bulk, the emphasis on the abs shouldn't be too big since you're in a bulk and you're not going to be able to see them anyways. But it's always good to build them of course, but you also build them the core and stuff with, with squats, deadlifts, uh, even bench and overhead press and stuff. Uh, everything is core activated, so it also helps when you lift heavy, um, but you know, isolate abs, I do it three times a week right now. I was just wondering, wanting to know, how do you, do I cut fat and then building my muscles? Do I go low carb diet, then a bulking diet to get bigger or what? Thanks, love your vids. Um, he said for losing, so he wants to get rid of the fat. He wants to do a low carb diet, which uh, could work. It's all about caloric. Uh, deficit. I'm um, obviously not taking in as much as uh, you burn a day. Um, that's how you lose weight and um, let's just answer it in generic form, obviously. This is a question I get a lot. What do I do in losing weight? It's not that hard. Like, you have this line right here on the screen is my maintenance level, so my caloric maintenance level for my body personally. So this is different for everybody. So there's this level right here and it's, for example, 2,000 calories. My body needs 2,000 calories to maintain my weight and, and function properly. And then when you want to gain weight, you want to 
add some calories to that level. So for example, you add 300 calories, um, you will gain some weight. Um, if you want to lose weight, you go under that level with like 200, 300 or 1000, which is not good to do by the way, but you get the point, right? You eat less than you burn, you lose, you eat more than you burn, you gain. Obviously you can do like low carb stuff, high protein, low fat, this, that, uh, carb cycling, stuff like that. Um, but a lot of you guys that I know are like 15, 16 year old gamers or 15, 16 year old kids who just started at the gym. So I wouldn't pay too much attention to all the specific kinds of diets that you want to do since you, you have to have the, the generic thing first and then you could always learn about new stuff and stuff like that. But um, I wouldn't put too much emphasis on all that stuff. Uh, I would just watch your food, cut out some stuff like sodas, um, or high sodium foods, drink a lot of water, make sure you don't go to the McDonald's every weekend, you know, stuff like that. Little small things that you change about your diet will get you a long way. That was kind of a long question. It was not even a question, but are you planning to come to an event like IEM Dream Hacks? Yes, maybe Katowice next year. I would love to go to a CSGO event. I would love to go to. It's, it looks so lit. There's so many people spectating, it's so dope. Are you a virgin? I get this, I got the question before. Are you a virgin? Now I'm not a virgin. <laughs> Sexiest muffin. Where do you find motivation to start going to the gym? You find it in here and in here. Um, you find it within yourself. Motivation and inspiration are obviously two different things. People can inspire you to do something because whatever, for whatever reason. But the motivation comes from within you. You do, you motivate yourself. You have to motivate yourself. Otherwise it won't be a long-term change. If you are going to the gym without wanting to go to the gym, you're gonna get fucked up because you don't like it. And then why, why would you go? What's the most you've tried to lift at once? Well, I think I tried a 180 kilos deadlift before that I didn't get, um, which is roughly 405, that's 405, I knew that. 405 pounds, that's the most I've ever lifted. I, that's the most I've ever had on a bar, period, uh, which is, I haven't deadlifted in a while. I might be going back into it soon. Who knows? Are you planning on cutting this year? This is a good question, actually. So I haven't talked about this yet um, because I really don't know yet. Uh, I want to make sure my chair, my right pec is restored before I cut down because I feel like when I cut down, the imbalance is just going to look retarded and I don't like that. I, I want to get restored. Then I can do uh, a cut. I feel like that's the best way to do it for me. Um, since I don't want to look shit when I do cut, you know? My favorite movie, Interstellar, or, um, what's the movie fucking called, dude? Uh, Shawshank Redemption. Interstellar, Shawshank Redemption, two of the best movies ever made, in my opinion. Jasper, do you plan on going to the US and hanging with any of the other phase members? Based yes, off? yes, please. Of course. What's my opinion on steroid usage? Um, I don't know, man. It's just, uh, for me, I would never do it. Solely for the reason I, I don't think it's worth it. Um, if people want to do it, man, it's up to them. I, I don't have anything to say about other people's bodies or anything like that. Um, in my honest opinion, though, if you do it without competing or without having the goal of doing something big in a bodybuilding scene, then I think it's just plain stupid. I mean, just to look a little bit better, obviously you can look insane with, with, with use of steroids, but I don't really find it worth it um, when you don't do it for like, a, for like a sport or anything. If it's not your work to look good, why would you do it? Would you leave face for 100K? Nah, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't. Okay, now, my teammate sent me some questions too, so I want to really make sure this, this one gets shown because he told me it was very funny. So, Jeroen, I'm putting you on the spot right now. If it's not funny, bro, I'm never gonna feature you again. What did you do today? Okay, that's a beer. It's not very interesting, bro. Face, <laughs> okay, he, that's my face. LOL! What did I do today? We played football, we won four to one, scored three goals. Uh, sh yeah. Pretty good game, if I say so myself. I'm tired of shit though, so my legs that I'm standing on right now, like these, these legs, I'm dying, dude. <laughs> Your overall favorite YouTuber, fuck. 
I can't say, I can't say, I can't say that's bullshit, I can't say that. Well, okay, last question. What was the hardest thing when you first started on your fitness journey and how do you, did you overcome it? So the hardest thing for me uh, was to not do too much. And this is actually quite an interesting one. I'm just gonna throw my phone away. I'm gonna talk a little bit to you guys one on one like we do on this channel. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, but the hardest thing for me, as I said, is to do too much. Um, I, I always wanted to go more and more and more exercises, more reps, more weight. Um, which is not always a good thing, obviously, when you do too much, you know, too much is too much. Um, so that was for me the hardest thing because I, tr I always try to overreach. I always try to over, I always try to overachieve, overreach, you know, overdo. I want to do good always. I want to do the best. So uh, when I started the gym, I just wanted to do too much, which is obviously not good. Got me a ton of injuries. And what I do to overcome it, just fucking change my mind. Like, yo, dude, be smart. Don't fucking be crazy. You know, being smart goes a long way, um, especially when you're lifting weights, obviously, when you don't want to mess up your body before you even start gaining anything. And for the long term, obviously, it's a little bit better for your body if you, you know, take your time, make sure everything is okay, don't get injured, be healthy. <laughs> so, um, it's a gift and a curse, the thing. It's just, the thing is, for me, it's so hard to not overdo anything. I always things that I, okay, things that I like, I overdo completely, 500%. Um, things that I don't like, I like don't do at all. Like I, it's like a zero to 100 real quick for me uh, with two different things. But that's gonna be it for this video. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little talk we just had with each other. Um, Hopefully a lot more is coming soon. And uh, again, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Leave a like on the video if you did. And um, check in with you guys later. There's this. <laughs> Ciao.